So he's my, my favorite fighter of all time. I'll tell you why he's my favorite fighter of all time. Because he was a genius in the ring, but he was also a highly intelligent human being outside of the ring. Excuse me. He could have went to Vietnam and just been a puppet and just sat around and handed out water bottles and pretend to be a, a part of the war. You know, he could have been just a, a showman. But he was intelligent enough, smart enough to know that, that war was a suppressive war. Today we all agree it's a suppressive war. And he had, the, he had the guts to be stripped and sent to jail for five years to do time in jail and come back and win the world title again after being criticized by his entire country. I mean, that guy's biography, it reads like a Hollywood movie. And of course, they made a Hollywood movie out of it, but you couldn't have written a story like this. He was a brilliant man inside and outside of the ring, and he was a great human being. So I think fighters should look up to that. Don't just be a guy who punches people, who knows how to choke people. Understand the world around you, understand what's going on, because you have a tremendous amount of influence you have a tremendous amount of influence and responsibility. So I really commend him and respect him for being educated and, and well versed in what's going on in the world around him. Last question for me, uh, what's the biggest lesson that has taught you already? Um, you know, the biggest lesson I learned in MMA is there's more to life than fighting and winning. There's more to life than fighting and winning. That's part of it, but you gotta take your wins and your losses like a man. And you gotta be a good person, because at the end of the day, everybody goes up and down. I don't care, even if you retire, undefeated. You're still going down in some way or another. One way or another. You're not going to be as popular, you're not going to be as famous, you're not going to be as rich. Not... Whatever it is, life doesn't just give you good. You got to learn to take the good and the bad and you got to be a good person throughout, you know. You can't just be a nice guy when you're up and then be miserable when you're down. No, no, no. You got to you got to take the good and the bad and I think that uh, I've seen a lot of people go up and down and some people take it better than others. That's the thing. How do you take it? That that shows me what kind of human being you are because there's a lot of up and downs in our sport and uh, you see faces change, you know, the best faces they don't change.